Hey guys, nice to have you with us. Check out this video. You're going to see the Steel Timber Sports Individual World Championships 2023 from the Porsche Arena in Stuttgart. And we are kicking off the Steel Timber Sports Individual World Championships 2023 with the underhand shot. You're going to see the Belgian Kern Martins go up against the Dutchman Redmer Knoll. Go! So good start into the blocks by both of the guys. I can see Sterling out of the corner of my eye counting the drivers that's going into the blocks here. And it's Kuhn Martin switching over to the other side of his block ahead of Red McNoll. And look at the chips peeling out of that block. He's going for the drive. One oh! more. And we've got a new leader. For the first time in the Porsche Ready. Arena and his home stadium, Ready. we're going to see the German Danny Stand Martin go in heat four timber. against the pole, Mikhail Three, Dubitsky. Two, one, go! So if you keep a close eye on the right-hand side of your screen there, Mikhail Dubitsky is the axe machine, as Sterling mentioned, and uh, Danny Martin being the technician, but it's Mikhail Dubitsky, pure power and speed going on to the other side. First about a stroke and a half, two strokes ahead of Danny Martin here, but Danny Martin definitely has that home advantage. But wow, look at the time for wow. Mikhail Dubitsky. 15.94 seconds, Danny Martin with a 20.81. He's pleased by that. We are going to see the Australian Jamie Head going up against the American Jason Lentz. Three, two, one, go! So right away, Jamie Head getting into it with those quick axe drivers, very much like Braden Meyer, and there's uh, no doubt these guys have been training a bit together. Jason Lentz moving over to the other side of his block quickly, though, about two strokes ahead of Jamie Head. Let's see how this ends up as they go through the second side with a lot of support from the audience here. There's a big chip that needed to come off of Jamie's block there that was sort of getting in the way, but it 20 went seconds away. Ahead. Oh, and uh, Jason Lentz with a 21.98. Jamie Head getting close to it with a 26.39 finish. This is heat number six of the underhand chop. We are going to see the World Trophy reigning champion Jack Andy. Jordan go up against the Swede, Emil Hansson. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, Jack Jordan didn't be, uh, seem to be too bothered by uh, having the battle in the World Trophy. And, uh, oh, a bit of a sticky one there for Emil Hansen is on the first side. And another sticky one for Emil, but he got it out. He moved over to the other side of his block. I can't see where Jack Jordan's at at this point, but he, yep, there he is on the second side Jack's of his block. Jack's going for the drive. Yep. And there He's it right. is, 20.32, a personal best here for Jack Jordan. Very good job. Emil Hansen struggling to get through with a few sticky axes on that second side. Maybe he too has a butt log. Who knows? And there you see another one oh, of those that's unfortunate a What knots. a knot. That's awful, isn't it? Come on, Emil, finish it off there, brother. There, there he go. is, there's he through. He's gonna have a look at the edge of that axe. Like we said, axe killers, but hopefully that thing's been dumped up enough to save that axe out. And we saw uh, some uncharacteristic times from both of those guys, but again, they took what the natural product gave them. And the scores go on the board, and it is the pole, Mikhail Dubitsky, who is currently leading the leaderboard with 12 points after that time of 15.69. Jordan and Martin shortly behind him. Also sub 21 seconds, the local boy, Danny Martin, and we've got Pabst and Hanson with slower times. They will currently pick up two and one point respectively. That was the first event, that was the underhand chop. We got five more, we've done something manual. Now let's do something with a machine. Let's go stock shot. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. Nice quick pickup for both of these guys. Look at that thin cookie by Cumberland. Thin to win is the rule of thumb. And Cumberland with a beautiful transition on the upcut. Oh, but Jamie heads a little bit faster on the upcut. And it looks like uh, Cumberland's got a massive piece on that Whoa, upcut. That was a huge thing. I, re line there, Cumberland. I really hope he didn't go over that line because that's going to mean a DQ for him. Uh-oh, I see the flag on the play. It's bad news for Ben. Okay, on Sunday, we have a DQ. The line. Uh, your cut is good. Ben Cumberland, absolute disaster. That upstroke went over the line and resulted in a DQ. And this is heat number three of the Stock Saw. It's going to be Pabs from Switzerland going up against Stand Martin Roussel from the Czech Republic. Three, two, one, go! Long, tense delay before the start signal goes here for both of these guys, but they. Uh, 
both get into the wood quite quickly. Nice up cut there from Serial Pops as he's looking very good here. 11-13 for him and 12-28 for Martin Roussel. We are now going to see heat number six of the Stock Saw. It's Danny Stand Martin, the local boy, timber. going up against the Swede, Three, Emil Hansson. Two, one, go! Great start by both of them. Danny Martin right into it real quick, but Emil Hansen's got a first very quick cookie. Let's see how the transition works for both of them. Emil Hansen looking good on this one. And 11, oh, 11 8, 2 and 11 4 1. How close is that heat between these two guys? Current leader is Kuhn Martins with 20 points overall. Closely followed by Danny Martin, the local boy, with 19 points. Dubitsky and Head on 17 points. Cumberland, Hanson, Roussel and Krull are going to have to go some to make the cut. We're going to go to the next discipline. That's the standing block shot. You can hear in the arena that he's back. Danny Martin will go up in heat two against Kern Martins. Three, two, one, go! Huge reaction from the crowd straight yeah, away. Yeah, absolutely. Well, they love seeing these guys hammer that wood. And uh, Danny Martin's got a ton of power. Kuhn Martin's got a lot of accuracy, though. I might have misspoke. And Danny Martin's got a personal best. 29-7. That power helped him out. Kuhn Martin struggling with the last couple of threads here. Oh, that's a troublesome spot right there for Kuhn. And a 29-9-1. And you can see some disappointment right there. This is heat number five in the Porsche hey. Arena, the standing block shot. Hey. It is Michael Dubitsky Stand going up against Emil Hanson. Three, two, one, go! Ooh, that was a quick start from Emil Hansen. I hope he didn't jump the gun on that one. So uh, he's getting into it right away. He's such a great athlete and uh, moving over to the other side quickly, Dubitsky. Joining him on the second side of his block, about two strokes behind Hansen. Hansen going really quick with the axe. Dubitsky doing the same thing here, which is something you're normally seeing on the underhand chop for these guys. And it looks like Dubitsky just motored through that thing crazy fast. 29-3, Emil Hansen 22-16. This is heat number six of the standing block chop. This is the Australian Jim Eddie. Head going up Eddie. against the American Stand Jason Lynch. Timber. Three, two, one, go! It was a little bit of a bouncy axe for Jason Lynch there. I don't know if you saw that as well, Sterling, but it almost looked like his first drivers bounced out. I didn't just see it, I felt it. Yeah. But I could feel the power of this man. 250 pounds, a USDA approved beast, going for the drive! Oh, oh, Jason oh, Lenz! 15.51, fastest time of the day. Jason Lenz takes over the top spot. Look at the scores in the top three positions. Lenz, Martin, and Head all with 27 points and one point back of those boys is Mika Dubitsky. Now remember, we are going to take the top eight athletes from this first round and move them into the second round when we go into the single buck and the springboard. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. And neither one of these guys opting. Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's uh, sure. Cohen Martins is opting for the spike shoes, Jack Jordan. Uh, not Ooh. doing it. Oh, a bit of a sticky one for Jack there, but he uh, still gets to the bottom of that cut in 13.20. Wow, great time. And another personal best for Kern Martins with a 14.77. Three, two, one, go. Now this is a discipline that Mikhail Dubitsky has been working hard on to improve in the last years and we've seen him really become quite adept at this discipline. But look at Jamie Head go. Oh, and they're exactly what I was talking about. That's exactly what I was talking about. That piece broke off and that meant that Dubitsky had to go back and cut that off. You can see the disappointment there because he had such a great time. Three, two, one, go. Good start by both these guys. Look at the intensity on Danny Martin there as he's pushing through a little bit of rocking from Jason Lenz. Danny Martin, Jason Lenz, pretty even cut down to the ball. Oh my God, look at how close that time was. 2.23 to 2.28. Personal best for both of those guys. And they are over the moon, over the moon. Fantastic run by Danny Martin and Jason Lenz. That means that the overall standings 
after four disciplines are Jamie Head, currently with 43 points leading the table, closely followed by Jason Lynch from America with 39 points, Danny Martin, the local boy, with 37 points, and Jack Jordan, still in touching distance with 32. This is the absolutely fascinating discipline of the springboard. This is heat number one. We're going to see Cyril Pavs go up against Emil Ready. Hansson. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. That's what we want to see is that, and he's gone on he's four. We're four. going to see him stick that in. Looks like a good board for Cyril Pabst. Both of them up on four hits. Emil slightly ahead at this point. Cyril's probably going to go for six hits on this top board, but we'll see. He is. Emil boards in. Your first athlete up on the top. This is a really difficult discipline. It's so finicky because there's so many things happening all at the same time. Setting the pockets, putting the boards in place, and here that awkward angle backside cut for Emil Hansen, who should get through in under a minute here. He's almost there. He's got to cut through clean. 49-5-1. 104.30. Like to see those personal best drop as well. This is heat two of the springboard. Ready. It is Kern Martins Stands going up against the Kiwi Jack Jordan. Three, two, one, go. All right, again, these guys want to get those perfect pockets, four hit pockets, as Sterling said, is the way to go. And it looks like both of them have done just that, getting up onto the first board in sync with each other. Ooh, tight and angle there Jack for Jordan. Jordan getting in. Ooh, that's but that's a really what saggy it, board. What we do see is that pocket was not very deep, and we're seeing some danger. He's yep. going to have to get down and fix that pocket. That's giving Coon Martins the upper hand here, who actually took some time. He made some mistakes on that top pocket, but he went back and he fixed it. Very savvy move. Jack's now got his uh, board where he thinks. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, Sterling, is that uh, a sagging board means you have to step farther forward and you can't use the entire length of the axe to cut. <laughs> <laughs> and Coon Martins with a 59.06 celebrating with a little can-can on top. Absolutely, as we see Jack. And like you said, he's now cutting uphill. So he's not able to get the force that he wants on that axe. His balance is off as this crowd of uh, Stuttgart, Germany, 6,000 strong. Cheering the Kiwi, Jack Jordan on, taking that block off. 122-6-7, and the disappointment is evident on Jack Jordan's face. So this is heat number three of the springboard. We're going to see the pole, Michael Dubitsky, go up against the Australian, Jamie Head. Ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. So Jamie Head getting into it right away, and that's four hits immediately for Jamie Head. Miga Dubitsky taking a few more there. I think he had an eight-hit pocket there, uh, Sterling. Tell he, me if I'm wrong. He may have. I wasn't actually. I was looking <laughs> at Jim because Jim's putting in a cut right now, a few extras to make sure of it because Jamie's actually in the driver's seat right now, and he knows he just needs a solid cut. Uh, you don't want to count out Mika Dubitsky, though. He's got so much power, and he's got a good board up top there. Jim Head struggling a little bit with the breathing, though, after a full day of action, and uh, he just needs to get that block off and get a time lock down. 52-14 for Jamie Head. Annie Martin going up in heat four of the springboard against Jason Lentz. Ready. Ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go, the audience. We know who they're going to be rooting for, but there are plenty of fans from other countries. And that was a very quick board by Jason Lenz as he is struggling to get that ax out. All the power in the world, and it uh, doesn't help if he can't get the ax back out of position. Jason Lenz placing his second board. Looks like a good angle. He'll get that tooth on the shoe in place. And again, struggling to get that ax out of the block. You can hear the audience in the background supporting Danny Martin, who's doing a great job on top of his block. A little bit of a slip of the ax there. Jason Lent moving to the backside, and he's done it in 52-42. Danny Martin squeezing in on the minute mark now here. He's deep on the first side. He'll switch over to the backside now. He's not going to get his personal best time, but he will have a time locked in here. Is it going to be good enough to get him into the hot saw? Let's see. The overall standings currently are Head in first place, a six-point lead over Lentz in second place, who also has a six-point lead over Hansen in third place. Danny Martin currently at 41 points, but with those three at times points available, anything could happen in the last round of hot sauce.
We are going to see Danny Martin now Over. in the hot saw. So a time of 6.42 would put Danny Martin in first place overall here. Everything to play for is just a blink of the eye. Eddie, ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this is looking good already. Nice start, bit of slow up cut. And he's oh, got himself a 5.86. That's enough for the top spot. No that world record was today. Very quick. But he is pumped by that run. This is the fourth heat of the hot saw. This is the Swede, Emil Hansson. Ethne, ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. Time, 5.89 for Emil Hansen. Three on the deck, that gives him 60 points. If he gets the thumbs up, that means Emil Hansen will take over the hot seat from Danny Martin. And it looks like uh, we have three good cuts there. Jason Lenz, um, if he gets second or even third place, he'll move ahead of Emil Hansen here if he gets the second or the third fastest time. Anthony, ready! Stand to your timber. Three, <laughs> Emil Hansen two, covering one, his ears. Go. Bit of a chunky start for Jason Lenz, but he's got good cuts and three on the deck. Oh, Five fifty-three. That is very, very fast. Jason Lenz, with the fastest time so far, unofficially Ooh, moves the, him to the top of the leaderboard. Did I just see a yellow flag come out of the pocket? Oh, we I did. did. Okay, we have a. Oh, that is unfortunate for Jason wow. Lenz. DQ for a cut line, so that leaves Emil Hansen safe on the hot seat. Oh, wow, right there. there Just it a is. bit thick on that far side. You see, not quite squared up to the log. Coming in a little bit too hungry. So we've got one more heat to go. Who will take silver? Who will take bronze? Who? will take gold. Ready. It'll be Hanson Martin Stand or maybe this man, Jamie Head. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. He ran into the block on his way up. I hope that doesn't affect it at all, but he's got one, two, and three cookies on the deck with an eight, five, seven time. Ooh, interesting here. He hit the wood on the way up with the, with the bar. Is that an issue, Sterling? I bet that clenched old Jim up a little bit when it happened, <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> How'd that feel, buddy? All right, your cut is good. The cut is confirmed good, and with it, the new world champion for Team of Sports, <laughs> Jamie Head from Australia. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. Fantastic scenes here after the drama of the hot saw. Wowie. So there's the confirmation that Danny Martin had the fastest time in the hot saw. Hansen the second with 520, 577. Dubitsky's was a personal best. And then, of course, there was that incredible drama with Jason Lentz. And this will be Danny Martin's first ever podium in an international individual competition. Remarkable scenes here. Absolutely fascinating. The DQ from Lentz was confirmed, which meant that he only took zero points uh, into the final results. That was only good enough for, four point, uh, for fourth place, unfortunately. That means that your new Steel Timber Sports individual world champion is... Jamie Head from Australia. I've been in Timber Sports a long time and, uh, you know, done a lot of hard yards and it was nice just to get here, uh, let alone win the gold medal. Oh my goodness, what wow. a fantastic 2023 edition of the Steel Timber Sports Individual World Championship. Three first-timers on the podium, two of them Europeans, one of them Australian, and he is atop the podium. Jamie Head is your new world champion. Big congratulations to him, and what a day it has been with these guys here beside me. Absolutely fantastic. We're out. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the show. Cheers, guys. See ya.